Hello everyone, I'm Hanny B with Hanny B Creations and today I'm going to be doing a uh, practice painting. It's uh, abstract and I'm choosing to work on foil, which I've never done before. Um, I got the idea because I saw a very cute, bright, just a very um, cute painting that was done on foil and I thought oh I'd like to try that so so I decided I would and then I the technique that I'm using was inspired by an artist that I absolutely find just incredibly amazing and her name is Isabel Zacher Feint, I believe. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, she is incredible. You've got to go see um, what inspired me to do this this little painting that I'm doing right here. Um, mind you, what I'm doing is on a much smaller scale than what you're going to see when you go check out her video. And I will leave a description in the description box. Um, excuse me, a link in the description box of, of her video. But what I'm doing here is I'm using a vintage or an old um, Mary Kay eyebrow brush. And the reason I'm using it is because I got the idea from her, actually. And um, so, like I said, you got to go check it out. Um, she doesn't use an eyebrow brush. You're going to be amazed at what she does use, though. So, um, and again, I'm doing this painting on a much smaller scale, but I just um, thought I would combine the two uh, techniques. Um, also, I want to add that what I love about painting on foil is that you don't, the texture is amazing. I don't even have to worry about putting texture in these flowers because the foil does that. So um, what I'm going to do is just show you um, this first section uh, in real time and then I'm going to speed it up um, for the last half which is just uh, I'll just be painting the um, the stems and doing the highlighting which I'll be using black and basically um, all the uh, texture in the flowers is already there from the foil so you know with Mother's Day coming up I thought this was an appropriate time to post this video to give you guys some great ideas to you know paint up whip up something really quick for your mom for Mother's Day. It would make a really cheerful gift. And um, you can even put this on a card, you know. It's just really easy and simple. Um, so have some fun with it and please don't forget to go check out Isabel's uh, channel. I will again, like I said, put a link in the description box so that you can check out why I'm so inspired to do this. And um, Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. It's not the best of quality. My hand is in the way a lot. Um, I really am only posting it to show her because I told her that I was using her techniques on a much smaller scale and I, I wanted to, to show her what I had done. So enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave comments if you wish. Subscribe if you want. That's always nice. And uh, thanks so much. Have a... Uh, have a fun day.
n'y a point de fraude. Chaque objet se meut par sa propre volonté. Et ainsi se produit la plus prodigieuse des choses qui soit donnée à percevoir sur la terre comme dans l'univers. La sensation d'avoir pleinement mérité sa situation géographique invoque en chaque être la volonté d'un accomplissement ontologique. Car l'honneur que la création nous renvoie se répercute sur une population plus globale. Il est donc urgent de développer la réflexion parametaphorique.